Hey there Capricorn, how is it going? Welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay. I am an astrologer and intuitive channeler. Uh, this here, I'm gonna take it. I just kind of felt a feeling there. Okay, but I'm gonna continue the introduction. Um, this is your timeless reading. Um, although I do upload these every month, I want to let you know that whenever it is that you are coming across this video and clicking on it, that is when it's meant for you. Really quickly, the Nine of Air, which is also the Nine of Swords, came out of the deck. Um, this card has actually been coming out for a lot, a lot of signs, a lot of signs. Um, I know at the time that I am recording this video, we have a lot of interesting astrology going on. And um, whatever the time is that you are clicking on this video, um, there could be a lot, a lot going on um, around your energy, just kind of touching your energy. Um, a lot of things, I mean, some of you might um, be really worried even um, about certain things, maybe lately, recently, or in the recent past, you had a lot of trouble sleeping, but I feel like you guys are kind of getting over that hurdle, um, allowing these things on your mind, these p possible fears or worries or concerns that um, in the past might have like kind of threatened your um, stability. These things are getting a little bit further and further away from you. They used to be a lot closer to you, little by little, because of the work that you are doing and the realizations that you are having. Um, these things are, you're getting further and further away from them, and that is good. They are still possibly like um, just, just at the edge of your energy. Um, but, this is only going to continue to work in your favor. So what else? What else is coming out? Why did that come out so quickly? Why, why does Capricorn, why did Capricorn have to um, see that, hear that? What is going on in their life? What is going on in your life? Uh, Eight of fire. You guys could be, oh, let me turn these cards around, sorry. <laughs> Um, you guys could be just like really like sensitive to things right now, like really picking up on other people's energy, um, really just kind of like intuitively maybe feel a lot and maybe that those are the things that you are having to let go of, like realize that certain things are not part of your energy are someone else's energy and kind of letting those things go. Um, maybe you are, you, um, you are a very like healing person. So maybe other people, they just have this like, um, nature to kind of like orbit you, like orbit around you, like come back to you, keep coming around you because, um, some of you are so fun to be around. I heard. <laughs> Some of you are so fun to be around, but some of you are so healing and your energy just makes people feel, feel so good. And you are here to, um, you know, serve a purpose and you can, um, you're good at being able to just, um, just, um, like hold that, hold that spot, like, uh, be in the energy that um, you are being called to be, to be in, to help others. Um, but there is, there are boundaries and some, maybe some of you are having to create better boundaries in that way. Um, and I see you guys really being able to do that. But with the Eight of Fire, which is also the Eight of Wands, I also see for um, some of you 
a lot of opportunities coming forward. Um, a lot of passion as well, definitely a lot, a lot of passion. Um, what are these opportunities? What is this passion for Capricorn? What is going on here? What is, what is, what does Capricorn need to know here? What is this, this eight of fire all about? Oh, these cards keep flipping around. Okay, what, what is hidden here? What is hidden? Ace of fire, or sorry, ace of fire. Why did I say that? Ace of air, which is also, um, Ace of Swords, and there was another card that turned around. What else? I just felt when these cards did this that something is hidden. Something is being hidden from you. Eight of Wire, which is also the Eight of Cups. Okay, um, this, this feels like a miracle. This feels like a miracle that is just coming right out of thin air. Like, oh my goodness, like this, like <laughs> this like unicorn thing, just like, just in the sky, suddenly there's this like light and just boom, like everything just like manifested and in the 3D and real right before your eyes. You don't see this coming. Okay, and the Eight of Cups. What else? What is this other thing that you... Don't see coming. I feel like this is somebody coming towards you. I really do. I really do. Um, they might be in like the shadows right now. The light, they are looking up at the light, but they are still, they are leaving something behind. What is this? And they have gained a lot of knowledge where they've been. They have um, realized the difference between um, like real and fake, like truth and um lies but not lies like like disguise yes disguise they have look they've seen through the disguises of others and they are not oh and it's not just even you that can't see them coming like they are really kind of like in a way like off the grid right now just like not in the public, like closed doors, like closed blinds. So there's also a lot of things that they're like not even really open to, but I see them deliberately um, um, coming towards a brighter day, coming to the light coming to the light which guides them to to you what else what else with these two cards here i just see a miracle happening and i feel that whatever is happening here is divinely guided is divinely guided and and magical and um for those of you who this is a person this is like like a match made in heaven. Like this is, this is um, like really just like incredible unity. Um, and I feel like this is just all about the light and this is about love, love. Like I like all the, like the green um, undertones also in these cards, you know, the heart chakra. This is, an opening of the heart chakra for those of you again who this is a person coming towards you um they have really deep feelings for you and their heart chakra has has opened has opened it's almost like there's a portal 
opening to a place that like you can't even really imagine, can't fathom. Um, yeah. Um, and if this is not about a person or or a relationship, then then I see this being you, like stepping into the light. If you have been in a dark place, this is this is you um setting sail like um embarking on a new adventure and just like making magic happen just like being in your power and just having the courage to leave to leave behind things that no longer serve your soul because you you have seen through the disguise you know what's real and what isn't and you have gained a lot of knowledge from the things that you've recently gone through what else what else for capricorn oh another card flips like that what else what else three of fire three of fire so i feel that for a lot of you this is about teamwork this it this does whatever journey this is that you are stepping out on this is not something you're having to do alone whether you are with um friends or just like really embracing your friendships and spending a lot of time with friends or this this is this could be like a romantic partner and you guys are like um building a like like a like a trip like like this could be like like a like a, I almost a spaceship like um like a car or something that will take you places you are building something that will take you places you are building like maybe you could like be traveling with this person in the near future you are building like an adventure with them like yeah oh my gosh Okay, what else? What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Transformation. Okay, this is also the death card in the original tarot deck. And, um,. I just really, again, kind of like a similar message. I see you just coming out of the dark, coming out of the dark into the light, like making making the most, the absolute most of things in a, in a readiness. I, I feel, I hear readiness. You are ready. You are ready to, um, to breathe this new air. You are ready to um, like light a fire, like, you are equipped you have you have gotten through the training you have um you are like certified now like you are to the like not just like a level like a next level you have graduated you have um now you you have like the magic within you you have the ability and you are rising you are rising and you guys have really just like transformed you've gone through a transformation and it's not it's not been easy it's not been easy but but you have done it you have done it the hard parts are behind you and it's Gonna be a much smoother sailing from here. All right, what else? Messenger of Earth. This is also the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I see this like you being in your power, you having confidence. I feel a lot of confidence from this card for you guys. 
um, I feel like you are coming forward with something. You are seeing your um, seeing something through. You have an idea, and you're moving with it. And you're and there's like a steadiness about this too. You're you know it's kind of like um, you know what starts fast might end fast. This is not that. This is you taking the proper steps and time to really to really forge something and you are like bringing it to towards others you are offering something i feel this being very um very like career oriented like entrepreneurial even um you believe in your um your craft and you should and um yeah oh my gosh love this love this okay capricorns Okay, Capricorn, what else? Oh, these cars keep doing this. Why do they keep doing this? They're like hiding from me. Five of Earth and Six of Fire. And I don't usually take cards when I do that. I just have like, there's just like this feeling in this reading where there is this, this, there's, it's relevant. <laughs> it's relevant. Okay, Five of Earth, which is also the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Fire. I. Yeah, there's been like a heaviness from the past. There has been a heaviness and you're just rising above that. Like, I feel a lot of like air and fire vibes here. Just like you embracing like the air and the fire and um, letting it pull you up out of like the damp or the heaviness that you have faced in the past and just rising up out of it, rising up out of it. All right. What else for Capricorn? What else? What else for Capricorn? Oh, this, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna flip it back. <laughs> oh. Ten of Earth and the Star card. Oh, and those over there, they just flew out. Okay, Ten of Earth and the Star card. Okay, so by you, by you stepping out of your comfort zone here and taking and taking like innate gifts that you've had all your life that might have been more stagnant in the past, you are taking those gifts and applying them differently, applying them in such a way that they can in turn just like, I see this being career oriented again. I see this like you making money off of what you enjoy, what you love, what you're passionate about, things that you're good at and even just like do for fun and just around this creating this legacy like i feel like this is something that in the past you just thought was impossible maybe people told you that it was impossible um, but you are making it happen you are being a star for some of you this could be like rising to some kind of a fame even like famous um you are um you are getting a lot of attention you are like on fire like you are um you could be in the public eye you could um yeah yeah i feel like there are a lot of eyes on you and it's worth it for some of you that don't know if that would be worth it maybe you don't like the attention so much and don't know if it's worth it it's worth it for some of you you needed to hear that Okay, and Hanged Man and the Six of Air, Six of Swords. Okay. I feel like, I feel like um, these new perspectives, I feel like for um, some of you, uh, there are, there were things that were turned upside down. And there were these, because there was, there were these new perspectives that you had to see, you had to see. And maybe this wasn't really about like your own personal, 
perspective. Maybe this really wasn't like about you. Um, it could have been like somebody else that you were close to or that you just had a lot of conversations with and you kind of like were forced to see from their eyes um, and imagine what it, how things were because because um, it's it, it opens up your mind like something or something is opening up your mind and expanding your um, reality and um, you're doing something new like me there for there for some of you there is this this brand new direction that you are just being guided guided towards and um, you are in touch with like the world around you animals as well for some of you um, really pay attention to like the animals that you see spirit animals spirit messages you know you can always like say you are looking you're outside and you see this hummingbird come up to you i mean we like all have like smartphones we can it is so simple to just like google like um you know hummingbird spiritual meaning like there's everything out there believe me i i do that all the time there are so many just like subtle messages in everything and i see you guys really um being in touch with that um being in touch with that and for some of you this is actually specifically birds like paying attention to like the birds that you see um and really going within and just harnessing your intuition all right what else for capricorn what else for capricorn okay page of water page of cups okay this just has new beginning written all over it and another like like you something about your reading is also very magical like the this card deck is already like very magical like you know feeling kind of theme going on but i really 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 feel it in your reading your energy here um don't be opposed to magic like believe in it believe in the magic okay for some of you there are just miracles wanting to come forward and it's your resistance to miracles and magic that um keeps blocking things from coming to you um believe in it know that it's possible king of fire came out uh, that's also the king of wands. Um, I feel like you guys just have an admirer. Really, really have an admirer. Someone loves you. Somebody loves you. And feels so warm when they think about you. And they have loved you for a very, very long time. Uh, King of Water. Oh my gosh. Okay. Two kings in a row. Okay. Okay. Some of you have... What is this? Okay. Now, some of you have two admirers two people who like mm. okay wait a second okay two people are really really into you one of them loves you and really um feels your warmth and is also aligned with you and connected to you like you are in their heart, like part of them, like you are part of them. And then this other person really, really like, just really admires you, is just absolutely fascinated by you. Um, but 
they can't touch you. I feel that there is not alignment with one of these people. Um, they're, they're so into you. They're so mesmerized by you, but they can't touch you. And that goes both ways. You also can't really touch them like, and it's this this king of water, this king of um, cups here. Um, there is a lack of alignment. This is not a true, um, this is not true unity. This is like infatuation. And you really inspire this person. This is not for, this is not for nothing here. Um, this is not for nothing, but I also kind of feel like there is a person that, um, it's not that they're dishonest, but they're kind of being somebody, they've kind of been somebody that they're, they're not truly. Um, but your presence, like, is a lesson to them. <laughs> it's a lesson to them, like you are teaching them something really important, but it is not like, like it's gonna be like true, like love. I feel like they might've told you that they love you, but I don't think they realize it, but they, they think that they love you. They think that they love you. And that's, that's the truth. Just, they think that they love you. But they don't truly believe anything. This person doesn't, um, truly believing in something is like, they don't know what that means. And um, they're gonna have to realize that they're gonna have to walk away or you're gonna walk away and then um, a real process of transformation is going to unfold in their life. Magician, magician. Okay, this is like, again, this is like that magic energy, just like making it happen. Um, ooh, and four of earth. This transformation here. Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. Okay, I feel like I'm just like seeing like a mirror. A mirror putting, have you ever tried this? To put your hands up to a mirror and you know, watch like in the reflection, you know, this reflection of yourself also like touch, you know, your own fingertips. This is something that you could do for healing if you, um, if you have some kind of like, feel some kind of a void or hurt within you to touch, you know, your own hands like in the mirror um for healing for healing um you can do that you can do that and then for some of you also i feel like you are being offered something you are being offered um transformation you are being offered exactly what you want exactly what you want but when you take it in your hands initially it might not like have the image and the look and the um appear the way that you would want it to but it's transforming into exactly what you want and I feel like there is a leap of faith, a leap of faith that you are, you are taking. I feel like the universe is like looking into your eyes and you are looking into its eyes. 
you know, um, and this is another thing with the mirror you could do. Look into your own eyes. Look into your own eyes. And um, trust yourself. Trust the universe. And um, take this step. Okay, final card. I feel like this reading has actually gone for quite a while here. Um, one card to wrap up this reading. What is the final message for Capricorns? Seven of Fire. This was somebody else's final card too. I don't remember who it was, but it, it was somebody, it's another, another reading, someone else's final card. I don't remember who it was. Okay. Okay. Okay, there, the universe is calling you, you to um, take chances in a way, like take a chance on the universe, do something even though it doesn't logically make sense. Doesn't logically make sense. Um, but there, there are angels and spirit guides and everything you know beautiful and angelic that you can't really see but it's always there with you it is always there with you by your side and guiding you and you are having to have faith and believe in that um believe in that that um like there is a method to the madness you know that 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 occurs that takes place around you um just believing in that knowing that 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 helps the odds that helps that keeps that that attracts more positivity that attracts more abundance and happiness and um i see you guys really figuring that out like really really um just making the most of things making the best of things taking fear and replacing it with faith placing it with faith and trust all right guys that will conclude it for this video thank you for watching feel free to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and um do come again to your next timeless reading have a beautiful day bye